Did you know that since the United States was founded in 1776 that there have been 27 different versions of the American flag? Well, you can see a lot of them right here at the American Armory Museum. If you're traveling west on I-80 and take a quick detour off Abernathy Road, you'll find the American Armory Museum. Just past the gate is an impressive collection of tanks and military vehicles, but once you step inside, it's like transporting to another place in time. Recently, I met with Jeff Lippman, the museum's curator and caretaker, to find out more. Tell me a little bit about the American Armory Museum. How did it start? So we started approximately 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Rowland, the owner of Jelly Belly Candy, bought seven military pieces from a private auction. A couple months after the auction, uh, I got a phone call from Mr. Rowland to come help him get his stuff moved into his building, get it running and restored, and he'd keep me busy doing something. About six years ago, people started coming in the door wanting to donate stuff. We weren't a nonprofit at the time, so we decided to have a little small museum. Uh, we had about 15 vehicles on the property and three display cabinets. So today, over 65% of the stuff from family heirlooms to uh, vehicles have been donated. Uh, counting all our trucks and trailers, we've got approximately 75 to 80 military pieces on site. Have you heard of Jock Littlefield? He was a Bay Area multimillionaire who amassed the country's largest private collection of tanks and other military armored vehicles. He owned about 200 tanks, self-propelled guns, armored personnel carriers, anti-aircraft vehicles, and other heavy combat vehicles. Because of the breadth and pristine condition of his collection, Mr. Littlefield provided an invaluable resource for those who study war and technology. So tell me a little bit about yourself and kind of your history and how you got here. So when uh, the Littlefields, Jock Littlefield family donated 350 pieces to the Collings Foundation, I'm related to the Collings. Okay. So they, I came out because I was family to help with the transition and oversee some of that. Uh, I moved here from South Florida. I was, uh, I had a land development company which heavy equipment, a bulldozer, a tank, basically same mechanics. So there's the mechanical end of it, and then I had an automotive restoration business. So as far as restoring, you know, that was my restoration part of it. Yeah, so, you're the guy. And, <laughs> and I came out here to help with that, and like I said, one thing led to another, and ended up going to work for Mr. Rowland. When people come here and they see these displays and the flags and all of the equipment and the artillery, what is their general reaction? I always look for the wow factor. You know, usually when they come into the, as soon as they walk into the, the, the door into the World War II section, I always throw a wow out of them. You know, they look in, they see all the vehicles, airplanes hanging from the ceiling. Um, you know, so that's what I look for. We have uh, displays going back from World War I to the Gulf War, everything from motorcycles to tanks. But our World War II display is based around General Patton. We have one of General Patton's original Jeeps oh, wow. from World War II. Uh, it's really neat to have, have a piece of history like that here. But his driver, Jeep Stanza. That was the name of his driver? Yeah, Jeep Stanza. Okay. He lived in Napa. Uh -huh. uh, got to know him very well. So we built a display around him and his stories. And then outside, you know, the military vehicles, we usually always have one or two vehicles out there and a vehicle that, I say, looks like a tank. It's really not a tank, but it looks like a tank, smells like a tank, so we call it a tank. We allow, we allow people to get inside of it. So, you know, that gets a lot of attention, too. The museum's mission is to educate future generations about and impress upon them the sacrifice, bravery, and enduring significance of the United States military through military vehicle displays, armaments, other military-related items, and educational videos, and experiencing the museum that drives that home. What would you want people to know about the wars, our country, and patriotism? You know, I, I do, again, try to talk to 
people about our our history because you know, a lot of people don't realize we have a really nice flag collection that starts back from you know when we were uh, under British control all the way to modern. You know, a lot of the wars, I mean Vietnam, you know, a lot of people don't really understand the Vietnam War, so we get a lot of veterans in here. You know, they they appreciate seeing what we're doing and, and you know and uh, just getting people to understand understand you know that what some of the Vietnam veterans had to go through. How you know they went out and did what they had to do for our country, but then were looked down on when they came back, you know? So, you know, give them a little respect now. We try to be hands-on with the kids. We have usually a few pieces that they can get in and on, uh, educate them, you know, about our freedom and, and the sacrifices made by our military. It's amazing how many of them don't understand what it means to be free and the sacrifices made. I mean, a lot of them are very educated on the weapons and the battles because of their video games. Right. You know, but when they actually get a chance to get up into a vehicle and you can point out the, the damage and explain to them the sacrifices made, I think it makes it a little bit more real to them. Right. What are you guys thinking is your future here as far as growing? How big are you going to get? Well, I mean, it keeps on growing. Uh -huh. uh, you know, fortunately we can't build on the property right now because of zoning issues. Okay. So we just have to keep utilizing what we have. Things get changed up all the time. So, I mean, we're, you know, more things come in, we move things around and make room and keep squeezing more stuff in and changing it. Basically, volunteers will make it happen around here now. I mean, Interesting, how many volunteers do you have? We got about six or eight that are pretty active. Oh. I mean, never enough. There's always something to be done. If you are a military history enthusiast and would like to assist with various tasks, including setting up for events, giving tours, doing general maintenance, and more, this is the perfect volunteer opportunity for you. Benefits include preserving history, honoring veterans, and working on military vehicles. We're open Wednesday through Saturday okay. from 10 till 3. Okay. Uh, we charge $7 for adults. Okay. Children, Pretty reasonable. Yep, children uh, ages 5 to 11 are $3. Okay. And military past or present, uh, we never charge our military. Jeff, thank you so much for joining me today and letting everybody know about the American Armory Museum and why it's so important to come down here. And hopefully we'll have a lot more folks coming down here. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming out here and supporting us. To view more programs like this, follow the City of Fairfield on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.